Go Nichiwa, Mino Suzuki, and you're watching Bucky Kong today's timid first person video is going to be on a PS2 game, and that is Stolen. This game is single player and takes 585k to save. No idea, I saw the, uh, the cover, I'm like, I want this. Female, uh, protagonist. Who looks hot, and we are going to be stealing things. I had to get it. So, very curious to see how well this is going to turn out. So, I'm very excited. As always, Tim has played a game first time so playing a game of version of it, and I can't skip anything. Let's get started, timer. And let me sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> oh. There, sneeze over. New game. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Eight megabyte. Yeah. Mine's 126. Or 128. Whatever. It's in the 120s. <laughs> uh. It's too bad Sony didn't do that originally in the PlayStation 1. Would have been a lot better. But at least that's, there's the new PlayStation 1 memory card coming out for 80 bucks. But totally worth it. Save successful. Okay. So here's our vixen. Okay. Our hero! Anti hero. Forge News 52. Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline. The heat is rising. Okay. All right. Japanese treasures opening. Okay. Richard Keelian. For years, careers, careers. Change is a. Huh. Oh. Oh, it's Gotham City. <laughs> but nothing ever changes. No. Okay, there it goes. Whew. It started to skip. That was horrible. <laughs> okay. Now loading. Well, it sounds like it's going to be fun. So we're in a city of sin. Gotham City. And, uh... He's kind of the, uh... Tinkerer. Where he makes trinkets for people to help them become awesome. At stealing things. Yeah, remember when we used to actually had to load games? Okay. Anya, okay. Okay, that's not bad. Why is it... Okay, okay, no, I guess that's, I guess that's right. 
Yeah, no, it's right. Okay, for a minute there. Nope, it's it's inverted. Dead gummit. Loots and rating. No, that didn't work. All right, hopefully. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to hit no. Control. Why? No. And invert. No. <sighs> there we go. That works a lot better. Oh, okay. Nice. Run at full speed and push. Okay, let's try it again. Hmm. Ah! That was 100% my bad. Woohoo! She got skill. Okay. Wait, what? Crouch and walk off to grab the ledge. Use this to skimmy. I hope this is the right way. It is. Okay. All right. Now what? Press X after jumping to uh, pull. What pull? Oh, maybe this right here. Okay. Okay, we'll start to view objects and map. So I'm going over to that person. Gotcha. Oh, Jimmy, that was close. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Okay. Hmm. I think I went the wrong way. Let's try that again. Oh, see what happens when you read the uh, the instructions. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh. I did not mean to do that. Mm, 
Okay. So I gotta get over there. How? Run and grab. Okay, run at the gap, push this. Okay. Okay, let's try that again without being stupid, okay? Oh! Dang it, there goes a the timer. Well, this is actually starting to get good! How do we have a shadow through the wall? That is awesome. Okay. Well, we didn't get very far. But I have to say, that was impressive. And if you can get the controls down, it looks like it's a precursor, if you will, to uh, Mirror's Edge. Or something that probably inspired it a little. I, I don't know. That's, that's actually pretty cool that they have uh, a lot of stuff like that where you have to use a lot of momentum and that will be just so much fun going through and I can see where it will get really hard really fast but all in all I'm liking it the best part of you have a good ambience in the background you can hear the rain you can hear the thunder you know you can hear your footsteps so you gotta be careful about that which kind of makes me a little worried for a little bit later. But then you have a nice, um, serious music in the background that's kind of like spy-ish, you know. And matches it perfectly. I love the um, visual monitor that lets you know if you are completely visible or not. Which has definitely been in other games, but I think they did a good job of incorporating it into the hub um definitely going to take a little bit of use getting used to on the controls but i think it will actually turn out to be pretty good with what i'm seeing so it makes me very happy that they got it working and using a um some button combinations that are good and make sense because I do hate it when it's like oh hold XYZ289 and then you might be able to jump but why do I have to hold all those buttons just jump shut up and do it you fool we designed the game okay I mean it's kind of like when I was playing Catwoman the controls are just all over the place and don't work well with the game Game I still would like to beat, but yeah. Um, definitely one I'd say enjoying. You give you a good way to explain how this game is going to make me feel, and hopefully I can stay with uh, through the game without having to worry about um, alerting people. That's the key. So, all in all, not bad at all. Really happy with what they did with this. I would definitely say, for those who like stealth games, you know, maybe give it a try. Might be up your alley. Might not be. But I think it will be fun to continue on with it. And to see where it will go and what crazy stuff we'll be able to get. Thank you guys for watching. This was a lot of fun. I only messed up once, really. Kind of. At least I didn't die, so that's a bonus. Hmm. Sorry if that was the only reason why you came. I didn't die this time. Oh well. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tisa Kuro saying ciao and sayonara.